I'm spray painting using this because my AutoZone that was close by, this is pretty much all they had. They didn't have the Rust-Oleum tint one, so uh, why not try this one, see how it goes. So I'm gonna do the inside out. Um, I did make it red. I'm gonna pop in a couple pictures you guys can see. I'm not painted tinted. I used, I had some red tint right there and I tinted it red, but uh, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. So um, at the moment, um, I have the that one back on. So good old trusty one I've been using. So, but in the meantime, I want to spray paint this one. Now the Honda sticker's on the outside, so I don't want to spray paint over that. I'll drop my fan. So I'm gonna pretty much do it from the inside and um, show you guys what it looks like. Do the first coat and um, you know, see how it goes. All right guys, so here's the first coat. Um, not bad, um, looks a little tinted already. Um, I really care how it looks from the outside. Um, I still wanna see, have some visibility through when I'm tucking, but um, you know, I do. I don't. I don't like it clear. So that's got to go. And I didn't like it red. Um, I put pictures up on my Instagram too. If you follow, so if you follow me, you already seen what it looked like. But um, I do have my fan there, and got my garage open, so we're good to go. Uh, Forty-three two sprocket. Oh, I didn't install my Speedo DRD yet. That'll be another video. Um, you know, I want to get some more rides in. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm probably gonna do one more coat. And maybe, well, maybe two more coats. I'll probably do, well, I'll see how the next coat is. And then um, we'll see if I need a third coat. But I'll uh, be back with the second coat once I'm done. All right, guys. So here is the second coat. Looking a little darker. Um, I think I'm going to go, I might need two more coats. Because pretty much what I want to do, I want it as, uh, let me back up, as dark as that one as dark as that one. So um, I'm gonna give it two more coats probably, and then we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm just lightly coating it, lightly, cause I don't want it too dark, but you know, so I'm just going where I can just slowly pace it. And um, I, cause I do, I like the shape of this windscreen. I do like it. That one, my one up here, it kind of just curls in. Like if you're looking at it, it curls in a lot right here. And not that it's bad. And I do like it comes up come, comes up higher, but uh, I do like how this one feels too when I'm riding. But I'm gonna keep that one on right now so I can better make a judgment, a better assessment. So I'll put that one, uh, I'll keep that one on for my next ride and then put this one on after that. Um, it should be ready to go anyway, cause I'm gonna probably ride today. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna do probably two, three more coats and I'll come back with the finished product. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is, I think the darkest I'm gonna go. Um, it looks a little, you know, all right. You know, you see some spots, but I'm gonna let it dry. And I know when I'm looking from the outside in that Honda's, you know, symbol will be, you know, more prominent even though I got Honda all over the bike anyway. But uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's all done for now. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I pretty much got this at, uh, where'd I go? Advanced Auto, Advanced Auto Parts here, yeah, cause that's the closest to me. And that's all it is. So I'm assuming since it's for light to pass through, it doesn't try to make it dark. So that's why I have to do a couple coats. I did like four coats, so. That's what it is. So I should be able to still see through it. You know, we'll test that and see. I don't know. If not, it won't be the biggest deal because, you know, my X-22 is like dark. So I never really see anything through it anyway. So anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it dry, then flip it over, show you what it looks like on the other side looking through. You know, it'll probably look a little different. All right, so. I'll cut it out. I don't know. I might even put it on the bike. I might. We'll see. Because I do have another decal I was planning on putting on the windscreen anyway. So I might put it on that one. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is, I think, the darkest I'm going to go. 
Um, it looks a little, you know, all right. You know, you see some spots, but I'm gonna let it dry. And I know when I'm looking from the outside in, that Honda, you know, symbol will be, you know, more prominent, even though I got Honda all over the bike anyway. But uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's all done for now. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I pretty much got this at a, where'd I go? Advanced Auto, Advanced Auto Parts, yeah, because that's the closest to me. And that's all it is. So I'm assuming since it's for light to pass through, it doesn't try to make it dark. So that's why I have to do a couple coats. I did like four coats. So that's what it is. So I should be able to still see through it. You know, we'll test that and see. I don't know. If not, it won't be the biggest deal because, you know, my X-22 is like dark. So I never really see anything through it anyway. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry then flip it over, show you what it looks like on the other side, looking through, you know, it'll probably look a little different. All right, so I'll cut it out. I don't know, I might even put it on the bike. I might, we'll see, because I do have another decal I was planning on putting on the windscreen anyway, so I might put it on that one. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so here's the finished product. This is how it looks. Now, it looks good from this side, but um, let me grab it. It is dry, but you no longer can see through it. So, uh, it's not like I need to see through it, through it. It's just when I'm tucking it. But it looks good. I'm going to put it on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it on now, but um, I'm going to put it on and see how it looks with the bike all together. But it doesn't look bad. It didn't come out that bad. I mean, I definitely wasn't going to keep it clear. I just wasn't going to do it. But um, yeah, all right, so um, I'll be back with another one. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna put this on, but um, yeah, so that's how you tend to the screen without, you know, really it's, um, you can see like at night lights and stuff through it. I'm gonna see, you know, you can still see, like when I put it up to the, you can still see lights through it and stuff like that. It's just, you know, it is what it is. I probably made it a little darker than what I should have, but hey, it looks good to me. But all right, guys, I'll be back with another one. Okay, so I had to put it on. Uh, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look bad at all. Does not look bad at all. But um, I gotta clean up the windscreen a little bit on the outside from when I had the tent stuff on there. But um, as far as it looking good, it's not like I can't see anything through the windscreen, so. It's not that bad. So I'm gonna pop a sticker on there. Um, I didn't bolt it up because I'm gonna decide if I wanna keep it on there for now, if I wanna put back on that windscreen. But just wanted to show you guys how it looked real quick. Um, looks a lot better. I'll pop up what it looked like before. All right, peace.